Hey guys, we use BIM basically to survive. Now we created our own package, uh, and it's something called Pluspec. Uh, it will be, it is available in Australia now. Uh, basically, I'm going to quickly draw over top of a, a simple plan that a client gave me. Uh, nothing special here. It's been poorly drawn, difficult to do. I did quickly scale it using a scale tool that is inside of Pluspec. Um, now all I really have done is just traced over top of the plan. Okay, and at what I was actually doing now is it's drawing me walls. Let's have a look at what I drew. Okay, I've got two minutes to do this, guys. I'm going to be really quick. I can draw in any view. I don't have to push F5. I don't have to do any of that. I can just simply draw straight over top of uh, an existing plan. No, I can get carried. Don't get too carried away here. Let's just go over here. Okay, this is this software uh, we created so that we could estimate very quickly which I'm about to do and I'm looking at about what 59 seconds now so I'm hoping I can show you why we use this uh, and why our customers like us using this we can show them uh, the product inside there's a little hip there let's just I probably probably should have moved that wall over but let's get a little bit more accurate sorry about the pop-ups in the bottom uh, now all I'm really doing here is tracing over top of now anyone who does this would know that I should be tracing the frame but just with the time restrictions that I've got uh, I really uh, don't have the time to do that okay now I have a roof I have walls but I also have uh, frames uh, timber frames I can put windows inside very quickly uh, let's quickly put a window in here submit it put a window in we can type in all these sizes, we can move the windows around, we can change the properties of the windows, um, we can uh, do so many things with this guys, um, now we can change the pitch of the roof, uh, but the most important thing is what happens with the BIM, what happens with the information, okay, it's doing a takeoff as I speak, there we go, we've got termite barrier, uh, we have frames, timber work in the frames, the total quantities, we have window, one window I put in there, brickwork, uh, the type of bricks, the amount of square meters, where to buy it from. Uh, we have brick hardware, we have uh, roof, uh, the quantities of every single face of the roof, insulation, fix out, because I put a window in there, I've got an architraves, I've got internal finishes, paint, plasterboard. Uh, I can go back to that model very quickly and I can stick in, say, a garage door. The garage is actually over here, go to the doors, select a garage door. Uh, sliding door, garage, roller door, panel door, submit. Okay, everything inside of this model is estimatable. Uh, everything is dynamic or parametric, for lack of a better word. Windows open and close. Uh, everything in here has been put in in such a way that you will also got lintels over top of windows. We've got garage door sliding tracks. We have so much information in three minutes and ten. Guys, imagine what I can do in ten. Alright, uh, uh, the name of the software is Pluspec and I get a lot of models from RubySketch which are all 3D models that have been BIM enabled. Alright guys, cheers.